And this video is going to show how to do a front wrap cross carry with a new worn and a woven wrap with Ellie. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the middle marker of my wrap. I'm going to stick that at the middle of my chest. I'm going to hold that with one hand. Or with the other hand, I'm going to reach behind me and find the top edge of my wrap. And I'm going to bring that up and over my opposite shoulder so that it spreads nice and wide across my back. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Hold it in the front. Behind me, I'm going to take this up and over the opposite shoulder. So now I have in the front a horizontal pass, which I'm actually going to bunch now, and two tails. And at this point, I'm ready to pick up my baby. Hey, baby. This is Ellie. She's two months old. I'm going to pick her up as if I'm going to burp her. I'm going to take one hand through the tail, through the horizontal part, I mean, and I'm going to guide her little feet through there. And as I guide her little feet through there, I'm going to set her down on the on this bunched pass. So now I can take a moment to position her before I do anything else with this wrap. So I'm going to take a look and make sure her knees are higher than her bottom. I'm going to position her in her typical newborn position, which is bottom down, knees a little bit higher, gentle curve of the spine, um, and head nice and high so I can easily kiss it. Now I'm going to take the top edge of the wrap, now that I've got her off position, I'm just going to try to shape the wrap around her. So I'm going to take this top edge, up and over her to the nape of her neck. And the bottom half of the wrap, I'm going to bring in between us, all the way up to her diaper. So I'm lifting her bum out a little bit and bringing all that fabric in. I can also reach through like this, bring all that fabric up to the top of her diaper. That helps her hold her tuck so that her knees are higher than her bottom here. And the next thing I want to do is tighten up. So I'm going to keep one hand on her. With the other hand, I'm going to find the top edge of my wrap. And I'm going to bring this top edge, I'm going to lift my elbow out a little so it doesn't get caught in my armpit. Bring the top and tighten. I'm going to go through the middle, a little bit more through the middle, and then through the bottom. I'm going to hold this with one hand. Over here I'm going to feel if any slack is caught under my armpit and feed it a little bit back. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to lift the top edge, pull my elbow out a little so it doesn't get caught in my armpit. I'm going to go out through the middle. Bring that down and through the bottom and bring that down. So the secret to wrapping is to tighten each part of your wrap. Don't just pull the whole tail and yank, but take the time to tighten each individual part. All right. The next thing I want to do is get a nice comfortable shoulder. So I'm going to hold one tail at my at her bump. I'm going to lift this one up, pull a little, and just shape it on my shoulder how I want it. Same thing over here. Lift up, shape it on my shoulder how I want it so it's not creeping up on my neck. Then I'm going to cross these two tails into the bottom and tuck them under each of those little feet to tie a nice tight double knot in back. And now I'm done. That's my front wrap cross carry. I'm going to check her. These are higher than her bottom. Her spine is nice and straight. If she seems a little crooked in there, I can always lean forward and shift and just kind of help her straighten up. She's well supported through the head. Um, if this is too loose here, it's actually a little bit loose. One thing you can do is pull it under your armpit and then take the opposite side up here. And then you can just kind of feed that slack back around or you can tuck it through down here and that'll keep it a little tighter. If your baby wants to nurse in this carry, and my baby wants to nurse right now, um, I can loosen it, loosen my half knot, take these two cross passes here and just kind of pull them. And I'm going to take them and just kind of give it a little wiggle, which is almost low enough to nurse. I'm going to loosen a little more. Pull this a little bit more. Now she's low enough to nurse. I'm going to take her to the side we want to nurse on, over here. And then from here, all you need to do is reach in and under. And you can lean, the secret to watching the baby is leaning forward a little bit. Hey, sweetie. Lean forward a little bit and reach in. Leaning forward just kind of helps you to aim your breast up a little bit. And then you're nursing. Um, it's not hands free, especially with the newborn. I find that I usually need to keep either one hand on my breast or one hand on the baby's head in order to keep nursing. Um, if I want a little bit more privacy, I could spread one rail out. Another thing that I love to do, especially in summer, for a little more privacy is just put a little sun hat on her. Then I can still see her whole face, but there's a little bit more coverage for my skin. Um, that works very well. Once you've finished nursing your baby in front row cross carry, you don't want to leave your baby in this low position that they were in to nurse. So what you want to do when you finish nursing 
Um, and especially if they've fallen asleep, you want to be able to try to do this without really disturbing them. What you want to do is reposition and raise their head up so it's nice and high in your chest. So what I do is I put one hand at the nape of her neck and one on her bum. I lean forward a little bit and then just lift her up on my chest where I want her. Leaning forward keeps, it, keeps me from kind of pushing her into a curled position when I raise her up. Just kind of gets rid of the friction between us. And now holding her nice and snug with one hand, I'm going to take each tail and tighten it up. So I'm going to bring this tail over and around. Tuck it back under her leg. Same thing over here. I'm going to bring this tail over and around. I'm going to feed it under that other tail. Now that's nice and tight, tuck it back under the leg. Then I'm going to tighten back up my knot nice and snug. And I just want to check here. My top edge is a little bit tight actually. So I'm going to find the cross pass that's on top here, which is this one. And I'm going to feed some slack around. So I'm going to bring some slack from here under my armpit up to my neck. And so see all that slack I've just found? I'm going to slide it down all the way under her leg. And then behind me, I can actually just find the opposite tail and pull that little bit of slack through. Um, if I wanted to, I could just retie the whole knot too. But I find it easier to just pull the slack through. Now she's once again nice and high. If I want a little bit more support for her head while she's sleeping, I can take one cross pass and spread it out across her back a little bit, going from one knee to the next knee and then put a little bit of wrap here at her head. Sometimes that gets me a little extra slack and I just kind of tuck it and pinch and roll right there under her. Um, that gives her a little support for her head, but I can still get two fingers on her chin and see her whole face. Whoa. And now she's repositioned nicely.